Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing scams in cryptocurrency, and quite honestly, this is a video that I should have made a long time ago. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a plethora of different scams that happen in the cryptocurrency space, because just this morning as I was sitting down to record a video, someone messaged me in the DMs over on our Discord server, asking me whether or not a certain platform that they were invested in was legit. Unfortunately, it's not. It was a scam, and it cost them a lot of money, and this is far from the first time I've had this happen to me. I've had many people message me about scams that they either got involved with or luckily I was able to step in and stop them from getting involved with them in just the nick of time. I'm talking dozens of times this has happened. This is ridiculous and it infuriates me and in today's video we're going to be showing you several different scams so you can see how they operate and also at the end of the video I'm going to give you guys a checklist, a sort of litmus test to try and figure out whether or not something is a scam quickly and easily without having to come to a more experienced trader and cryptocurrency analyst like myself to discern it for you. Please watch this video, not for my sake, for yours. And also, please share this video with someone, guys, because I have watched so many people get scammed out of so much money, and I am so tired of it. The Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency space should be better than this, and it's a real crying shame that this is still happening. So without much further ado, guys, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. The first thing I want to do is actually show you guys an imposter of mine. And normally, I wouldn't show the name of someone on YouTube that is doing something wrong, because I don't want to bring publicity to an evil person, but luckily, they're using my name. This is someone who's posing to be me and has been emailing my students. This was happening about six months ago. I haven't heard anything from it in a long time, but this is a good example of a scam. And I'm going to show you another example similar to this with another prominent name in cryptocurrency. Back in May, I started getting emails from several of my subscribers asking me whether or not I had sent them this email. If you will notice, the email that I use for this channel is cryptojeb at gmail.com. Like that. Like You see this? This is my email. Unfortunately, someone went ahead and made cryptojeb0 at gmail.com and started emailing my subscribers posing to be me. As you can see in one email, he said, Hey subscriber, I hope you're enjoying your week. I just want to take this time out to say thank you very much for every supportive comment, blah, 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 trying to make himself look legitimate. You guys have been awesome. He's trying to mirror how thankful I am for you guys so that he looks more legitimate. I hope you keep following the reviews on each video as I analyze bit trending topics. He's making all this stuff up, of course. Furthermore, I've been testing an approach related to cryptocurrency investment and the future of digital assets for quite some time. Apparently, this has proven to work perfectly and it could actually become your biggest investment ever. I'm yet to post a review on YouTube because I want to share this only with my subscribers for now. If you're pretty excited and willing to learn, feel free to respond. This guy's is a pretty classic scam. He's trying to tell you, oh, there's this big opportunity, and if you email me, I'll give you details on it. You email him back, and he's going to go ahead and start scamming you. He's going to either want information for making an account, or he's going to want you to send Bitcoin to start something. In some way, you're going to get scammed up by this. And the reason I want to bring this one up first and foremost is that even though I'm a small YouTuber with only 28,000 subscribers, they're imposters pretending to be me. Now, think about the bigger YouTubers. Maybe we're talking about Alessio Rastani or Data Dash. We're talking about other big names in the cryptocurrency space like Vitalik Buterin or Charlie Lee. People are posing as these big names all the time, so that's one kind of scam you need to look out for, is people pretending to be other people. For my sake, I will never email you unless you're in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy or in the first cohort, which will be launching on Saturday. And even if you are in one of those services, it's very rare that I email you first. In fact, it's so rare, I think I've only done it two or three times, and that was in special circumstances when something was messed up with an account. It's extremely rare that I or any other YouTuber will email you, especially especially if they're trying to pitch you something. Moving right along here, let's move to another couple of scams that have been pretty predominant in the cryptocurrency space. You guys might remember BitConnect. It became a pretty big meme, and quite frankly, it was a pretty funny meme. PewDiePie even reviewed this meme back in the day. But guys, I think a lot of people forget just how many people lost a ridiculous amount of money with BitConnect. People lost hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars because BitConnect actually did make the money. The only problem was BitConnect was a Ponzi scheme. It was a pyramid scheme. Who knows whether or not they had a trading bot for real. Maybe they did. Maybe some of their money was coming from a trading bot, but the point is BitConnect exit scam and people lost a lot of money. I'm not going to get into the history of BitConnect right now, but this was another scam and this was well known. Some of the biggest YouTubers in the cryptocurrency space, Crypto Nick, Ryan Hildreth. Ryan Hildreth is right here in this thumbnail. This guy, I forget his name, but he was really big in crypto a while back. They were all doing BitConnect and making literally hundreds of thousands of dollars off the affiliate program. So that's another point about scams I want to make. It doesn't have to look really sketchy and have a horribly laid out website like a scam I'm about to show you does for it to be a scam. It can be a multi-hundred million dollar business that's a scam. And BitConnect is a good example of that. You need to be careful with this stuff, guys. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. If the company or if the person can't tell you exactly how they're going to make you money, then they're not going to make you money. Because if they have a way of making you a bunch of money, they're going to go into excruciating detail in their marketing to try and get you to join. But if they don't do that, 
that's a big red flag. BitConnect was a good example of that. They would never release the records of their trading bot. And if that trading bot was actually making people money, they would have loved to release it to prove that they were in fact legitimate, but because they weren't, they couldn't do that. Another scam that was very similar to BitConnect came out almost as soon as BitConnect went down. And this just blew my mind, guys. I understand maybe, especially if you're newer to the cryptocurrency space and YouTubers with 100, 200,000 subscribers are promoting it, you might think it's legitimate. I understand how people could fall for BitConnect. I don't understand how people fell for DaverCoin. BitConnect went down right over here at in January. I remember when this happened, actually, because it was a very bad time for it to happen. I want to say it was on this day right here, about the 16th of January. You can fact check me on that, but BitConnect went down somewhere around there. And pretty soon thereafter, as you can see, DaverCoin started getting a lot of popularity. And DaverCoin was basically just a reskinned BitConnect. In fact, a lot of people thought that DaverCoin was made by the same people that made BitConnect. If you guys don't know about BitConnect and DaverCoin, basically what it was is you would lend money and then they would use that in their quote unquote trading bot and then you'd make about 1% return a day. And you could, and the idea was you could compound that and make a, a, a lot of money if you left it in there for long enough. It was a classic Ponzi scheme. DaverCoin was the exact same thing and it was big as well. There were YouTubers talking about it also. Luckily, I think the cryptocurrency market learned a big lesson from BitConnect and we haven't had anything major like that since and hopefully we never will. But the point I want to make with that is not only that scammers are going to pretend to be YouTubers or pretend to be celebrities in the cryptocurrency space, they're also going to look like big, major, real companies. And I'm going to get to how you can discern what's real and what's not here in a little while. Just give me a second. Okay, guys, speaking of celebrities, check this out. I'm going to go on Twitter, and within 20 seconds, I bet I can find you a scam. Let's go to Twitter. I'm going to go to Vitalik Buterin's Twitter account. We're going to go to Vitalik Buterin ETH. Um, let's click this tweet. Let's see. Uh, boom. There's a scam. Amazing. I just got 1.88 Bitcoin. Anyone can join and they're quoting Coinbase's account. If you click on that, who knows what's going to happen. It's probably a scam. Yep, this is Photoshop. This is completely ridiculous. They got the blue check marks on there and Coinbase and Brian Armstrong's name to make it look legitimate. This is a scam. There's a reason that Vitalik Buterin for a long time changed his name on Twitter from Vitalik Buterin to Vitalik not giving away Ethereum Buterin because so many people were posing as him. It's actually crazy how many scams there are in the cryptocurrency space, guys. And it really sucks because the reason that they keep doing it is because there are people that join Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies thinking they're going to get rich overnight. So they think it makes sense for them to be able to make 1% or 2% a day with a trading bot. Or they think it makes sense for them to be able to turn $500 to $21,000 in a scam that I'm about to show you. They think that makes sense because people hype Bitcoin and say you're going to make a crap ton of money. But guys, it's not that easy. When you join cryptocurrency, this is a job. It's a career path. It is, it is something that you have to learn. You're not going to get rich overnight. You're not. You have to work for it just like everything else. This is not a free meal. So please don't be fooled by people who are preying on your belief that it's a free meal because it's not. Just this morning, someone messaged me on Discord and I'll keep their name private just so they don't feel embarrassed or anything. They said I could use their name but I'm not going to. And they sent me a screenshot because apparently what had happened was they invested 500 euro and eight days later, the account balance said that they had 21,000 euro on what was essentially some kind of trading website. This is that trading website, guys. Yeah, looks real legit, huh? So now apparently what this Brimes Trade website is saying, they don't even have a logo. It's just in some random font up here. Apparently what they're saying is that for him to withdraw his money, he must pay 20% of the withdrawal so that he can take his profit. And they say he has 21,000 euro up here, so he has to pay like 4,000 euro to withdraw. It's a scam. Guys, I mean, th this leads me into my point here. This leads me into how you can avoid this, hopefully. One of the first ways that you can identify whether or not something is a scam is by looking at it. Does this look legitimate to you? Does this look like a legitimate website to you? Seriously, does this look like they hired a designer? Does it look like they even went so far as to go on Fiverr and spend 20 bucks on a logo. I mean, does this look legitimate? Does this look like a good place to put your money? No, it doesn't. It doesn't in the slightest. And for that reason alone, as soon as I saw this screenshot, I'm like, yeah, you got scammed, dude. I'm sorry. I don't think he actually lost too much money, but that's all relative. And it doesn't matter anyway, because it's his money. It's not their money. It's his money. So that's the first way that you can avoid a scam is by looking at the website. And if it doesn't look legit, if it doesn't look like they've had a good designer, kill it. Don't do business with them. But guys, I'll be honest with you. That's actually not one of the best ways to identify a scam. I put it at number one just to get it out of the way, but there are a lot of websites and a lot of services and a lot of scams that look legitimate and are not. For example, BitConnect. BitConnect had a very legitimate looking website. They had clearly had hired a professional designer and they had a well-built website. It was still a scam and people still lost money. So you can't just rely on what the website looks like. So another thing that you can do to avoid scams is think about the too good to be true rule. Is it really possible for someone to make you 20% in a day? Is it really possible to make you a ridiculous amount of money like that overnight? Is it 
is it really possible for them to turn 500 dollars into 21,000 euro it really is that possible i mean just to, it, it, you turn 500 euro into 21,000 euro in eight days you extend that out with a compound interest calculator and they're gonna have 100 trillion euro a year from now does that really sound legitimate to you no it doesn't so that's number two. Just use common sense. Think about this. Does this actually look legitimate? Like I said earlier, can they prove to you how they're making you that money? Can they show you records of exactly how that money is being made if you were lending them your money? If they can't prove that what they're saying is true, don't use them. There are plenty of legitimate services in cryptocurrency. You just have to make sure you have the right one. Another way you can spot a scam is by comparing how the scam operates compared to the industry standard. This website over here wanted to charge our subscriber 20% of his money to withdraw his money. Compare that to Binance, which is like 0.01% of a fee. I mean, that right there also sets this off as a scam. And I just... It I just can't, I can't look at this anymore, guys. This is just uh, look at the look at this website. So those are three ways you can do it. Look at the website. Is it too good to be true? What's the industry standard? A fourth way: find people that you can trust in the cryptocurrency space and see what they have to say. I'm a trustworthy name. That's what I say. Now apply everything that I just said to me. Also, I am not exempting myself. I know I'm trustworthy, but just to make sure, make sure you're applying all the scam things to me. Also, apply to everyone. But if you want to know, then you can come to someone you trust. Maybe you trust me. Maybe you trust a friend who's in cryptocurrency. Maybe you trust someone like Vitalik Buterin actual Twitter account, maybe you DM him, or maybe you see Vitalik Buterin promoting something and then you know, or you see actual Coinbase's account or actually Brian Armstrong's account or actually Charlie Lee's account with the blue check mark promoting something, then you can be pretty sure that that thing is legitimate because someone who knows what they're doing is talking about it. So four things so far, look at the website design. Is it too good to be true? How do they make their money? And what does an expert in the cryptocurrency space think about it? Those are four ways that you can find out whether or not something is a scam. And guys, I'll be honest with you, in cryptocurrency, there's one main way to make money. And well, I mean, there's two, but there's one main way to make money. It's by going on TradingView and then opening up Binance or Kraken or Bybit or BitMEX or whatever you trade on and making a trade. If you're doing that, that's how you make money in cryptocurrency. Lending platforms are complete BS. The only other way that you can really make money in cryptocurrency besides doing your own trading is by mining. And if you're doing mining, you shouldn't be doing cloud mining, in my opinion. You should be doing mining with your own hardware, so you shouldn't even really be on the internet for that anyway. Just make sure that you're not getting caught up with your emotions. Make sure that you're not investing a lot of money with someone who's trying to scam you because they're offering you a really juicy carrot to make a ridiculous amount of money with them. I can't promise and I can't guarantee a lot of things in cryptocurrency, but I can promise this. You will have someone try to scam you. Remember that. Someone is going to try to scam you, and that is very sad. And as cryptocurrency grows up, it's going to get better because the fifth way that you can identify whether or not something is a scam is figure out if they have a license or if they are actually registered with some kind of government agency. That ties into my fourth point, which is talking to an actual expert in the cryptocurrency space. What are their registrations and what countries are they registered in? If they're registered in the United States, they're registered with the CFTC and the SEC, and they have an actual business location that you could go and visit them and talk to them in person. Those right there are legitimate things. I don't care if they have pictures on their website with names and descriptions under them. There are plenty of white papers that say they have this team and they just pulled those names off of Google Images. Check to see where they're located. Check to see if it's a real building. Check to see if everything they're saying is true. If there's any inconsistencies at all, be very hesitant to do business with them. Guys, I could talk about this all day. It really does piss me off because I know that I'm not going to get scammed because I know the cryptocurrency markets very well. I know how to spot a scam, but there's a lot of you guys, especially if you're newer to the space, that don't know how to spot a scam and it really sucks but it's true so guys please heed this video please be careful moving into the future and also guys please share this video it seems like every couple of days someone is messaging me about how, how either they almost got scammed or how they did actually get scammed so please spread awareness on this go talk to other youtubers let's see if we can get all of the youtubers to make a video about scams let's see if i'm gonna call some people out carl from the moon do a video on this alessio rosani do a video on this data dash do a video on this ivan on tech do a video on this all of you do a video on it i'm so tired of this spread awareness of scams because if every single YouTuber made a video about this, it would happen so much less. So yeah, I'm calling you guys out. Make your own video and I want you guys to call people out as well. And by the way, just because I didn't say your name, fellow YouTubers, doesn't mean I'm not talking to you as well. So please, make a video on this. Anyway, guys, like I said, I could rant on this all day long. It really does upset me, but I'm going to stop the video for my sake so I don't give myself an aneurysm. Guys, I do really want to thank each and every single one of you for watching. There is a new product called the First Cohort launching on the 16th. That is Saturday and you guys are going to be getting a face reveal with that. Come in the chat down below if you're looking forward to that. I think you guys are really going to love what's coming down the pipeline, but there will be more information on that as time moves forward. Anyway, guys, like I said, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I do want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.